Should we just come back a little bit later when you're done slurping your drink? I'm supposing that you just didn't want to do this off camera for any reason, right? Damn, I wish I was orange juice. You wasted 15 seconds of my life to get to the punchline about wishing it was orange juice? Am, am I missing like a, a, a hidden joke here? Jeez, that song was the most tone deaf thing I think I've heard all evening. Can you not? Can you just not? Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Link Link, L I N K, L I N K, you know, the Triforce Warrior. Okay, well, for one, I'm not gonna call you that. And two, is that the best name you could come up with? Anyway, um. Go ahead. Please do continue. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. This time is going to be a rant. And yes, I said a rant, not a vlog this time. So this is going to be my very first rant of what I'm actually going to talk about. And it's today. Blah, blah, blah. Keeping that in the video. Jeez, I mean, you could try to clean it up a little bit or at least do jump cuts. At least those would make a little bit more sense. Today's topic is all about black community and the anime community as one. So being a black kid growing up watching anime. Well, thank goodness that you're here to tell me a little bit more about it. I'm actually really curious to see what you have to say. I'm pretty sure everybody here that's watching this video is. Yes, it is gonna be a troublesome rant. Yes, it's gonna like open up your eyes and see how I grew up a little bit. But it's also gonna give you insight on how I dealt with that basically so hope you guys enjoyed the video and we're gonna continue with now now just to let you know i've watched my fair amount of this video beforehand and it's the cringe is kind of just there you, you kind of just get over it but boy that was just some some transition you got there let me tell you guys right now being a black kid liking anime nothing wrong Nothing wrong. I love anime. Well, thanks. Me and my growing community of friends, we also just like to indulge in the anime. It's one of our favorite hobbies, and it's something that we like to do to help pass the time. As you may know, if you have me on Xbox, my anime of the fucking month right now is Boku no Hero. Ah, uh, yes. The Boku no Hero Academia. I mean, how could you possibly not know what that is, especially when it's plastered everywhere, you know, all the crunchy rolls and the Funimations, and they're trying to make you sign up for it so you could watch it. I mean, it's probably the number one series in the world right now. It's received a fair amount of hype, and I can see how you would like it. And I don't quite have anything against it. I mean, people love it, and I just haven't gotten into it. It's just not something that's really on my radar. And no, I will not be adding you on Xbox. Top-notch anime, read the manga, continuing on, love it. To each his own, I guess. Yes, I am a black kid. Yes, I see your skin color. Guess, go on. Yes, I grew up watching anime. Again, me too. I watched anime all the time as a kid, including Dragon Ball Z in the early mornings before I would go to school, or even just your typical Pokemans. Yes, I was bullied. Yes, I was made fun of. Yes, I was the outcast. But did that change me? No. Want to know why? Because I stayed true to myself, watching anime, learning a new culture, doing all the things that I wanted to do, like new foods, eating new foods, meeting new people, having a new and enormous life that I thought I would never have just because I watched anime and growing up thought it was being bad being watching anime. Hey, 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 slow down there, chief. We'll we'll get to all of that in a second. I just need to decompress all of the things that you just threw at me. Like, that was, like, a lot. I mean, sure, I guess if you grew up in a weird household, and I consider that weird, where watching anime is bad, then, I mean, that's pretty much up to your parents to, you know, make sure that you're not watching anything that they would find against their religion or against their own personal beliefs. I mean, that's a thing. And... As far as growing up and people bullying you, I mean, almost everybody was bullied unless you were a popular kid. And even then, they were probably bullied to, you know, be motivated to do something like that. Now, I know I've been kind of semi-harsh on you, but you are right to an extent. Watching anime helps people grow and get more knowledge of Japanese culture because it's something that we just don't have here. 
a lot of people use anime and manga to study the Japanese culture because it's something that they're really interested in. As far as Japanese foods and things like that, I was actually fortunate enough to at least experience a restaurant that was here in Nashville, Tennessee, called Ichiban, and it was really good. They were just Japanese people, they brought everything that they had over here, and unfortunately, they had to leave because there was a fire at the restaurant, and it pretty much burned everything down. So unfortunately for me, that's not really an option at this point, and I could go to some other subpar restaurant, but... Where would the fun in that be? I thought it was a sin being a black kid watching anime. Yes, a sin. Who in the world told you it was a sin to watch anime? Was it your parents or was it kids at school? I'm, I'm not understanding. There's like this big gap of information that's missing. Well, I don't know why because other black people did not understand the cultural belief of a black kid liking another cultural uh, difference. Oh, so it wasn't your parents and it was just other black people that told you this? Well, unfortunately for you, I don't think that that's the case. Now, I can only go based on the information that I've found to pretty much combat what you've been saying. So just take this as a case by case thing. Now there is an article that you can find. It's called, Yes, Black People Like Anime, where it's an editorial piece talking about why, yes, black people love anime. Now in this article, they talk about the link between black culture and Japanese culture and pretty much how they share kind of the same things. Even if you were to go to read the rest of this article, there's a certain excerpt that says, Japanese people love black culture. In fact, there's an entire Japanese subculture dedicated to mimicking everything in black culture from the hairstyles to the music and clothing. You think I'm joking? Watch this video. See, it goes both ways. It's only natural that black people would love anime. I can't do this anymore. And of course, you know, the, the last part there was, was a little bit of a joke but but anyways so i went to that video and it's the black lifestyle in japan and it pretty much shows the gangiro girls and how they pretty much make their skin appear darker almost like blackface but blatantly not racist but that's all things for japan considering things here but if there's other black people around you saying that it's not normal or they just don't understand it then Maybe you should not associate with those people. I mean, unless they're family and then you just really can't get away from them. So yes, being a black kid growing up, watching quote unquote cartoons is what adults and other people called them, was totally a outcast. No, he was not an outcast. He was just being a different person. He was learning a different language. He was learning a different cultural belief, a different religion. And by God, that man became smart, learning a whole new lifestyle. Now, I would hate to think that you're strong manning this, but do people really think that you're an outcast because you watch anime or because you watched anime back in the days? I mean, surely that's not really what you mean. Yes, I can do two different lifestyles. I can be a black person or I can be a not to be racist. Please don't say I'm racist. I mean, you're the one who's saying it, not me. I can learn the Asian cultural way in more than just one Asian cultural way because their anime is not just in Japan, it's also in China, there are Chinese anime, there are Russian animes. Okay, at this point, I'm just really interested to hear what this Russian anime is that you're talking about. Like Full Metal Alchemist. Don't get me started. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, did you just say that Full Metal Alchemist was a Russian anime? <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. <clears throat> oh, wait. L let us continue. This is Hiromu Arakawa. She was the series writer and illustrator for Full Metal Alchemist. Obviously, she's Japanese, but, you know, a quick Google search and maybe a Wikipedia page would help you figure this out to not look like a jackass on the internet. Anyway, so... There's even American anime, kids. We're gonna cover that later on, like, in a different video, so skip. Avatar The Last Airbender, American anime. Mm-hmm. Fuck the mind up. No and no. So, I fucking hate it when I was growing up and I got bullied, pushed down, beat up just because I liked anime. I hated that. Oh, you're not black, you like anime. So there's only three possible things that could be happening here. Either 
one, they're blind, two, it was a joke and you don't know how to take them, or three, they are legitimately bullying you and you need to seek the help of an adult or a legal guardian of some sort and let them handle this issue, or just don't be around those people. I hate it being called that. I hate it people saying that shit. Fucking believe it. Fucking hated it. I don't care. Like, being a black kid, growing up, watching anime, is like a cultural sin. Like, being a person who is gay, because you will be called an outcast, basically feel like you don't belong, and so on and so forth. I'm not comparing being in the gay community to the anime community. But you literally just did. It was right here in this clip. It was only a few seconds ago. Growing up watching anime is like a cultural sin. Like being a person who is gay because you will be called an outcast. Basically feel like you don't belong. And I rest my case. I'm just saying. That's how it quote unquote felt. No, I am not gay. No, not. Just wanna shoot that out there real quick. Didn't really care to know, but thanks for the heads up, I guess, maybe? Anyway, now, being in the anime community, cancerous. You know, come to think of it, you're not the only person that said this about the anime community, but let's hear what your reasons are and see if they match up with anything I've heard. Cancer risk. Because, yes, people be like, bro, you're black, doesn't matter what you think. Bro, it's this anime, don't care what you say. Yes, it is fucking horrible. <sighs> Let me lay this down for you really quick. The anime community is not in an entirety a bad thing. It's just certain people, certain kids want to be edgelords and try to, you know, be the trolls that they are on the internet because they're behind a computer screen. I mean, trust me, I've been called a racist for my thoughts on Neo Yokio. Like, do they do they know that I, like, why would I be racist? Why would I be racist against a black character in a cartoon when it doesn't matter? It's completely irrelevant. It wasn't even an issue that I brought up. In fact, my best suggestion is just to find a sub anime culture somewhere like a like a different community and just associate with those people exclusively because then they can respect your opinions and then of course you can respect theirs. I mean, I get along pretty fine with a lot of the people that are in my comment sections unless they leave stupid comments. Being in an anime community can fucking boil my blood to the fucking tea. But there's no T in the word blood. Oh my god. I hate the anime community when they disagree with you. I personally, I listen to the other person's uh, theories or like what they think what should happen or like, you know, how they thought it happened. No, I don't say, I don't reply to them and be like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. No. Hey, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, oh, sorry. Wait, I, I got caught up in the, in the emotion there. I'll say, well, this is actually what happened. You know, quote unquote, I'm going to tell you how it really came from the manga or the anime, depending on which one that you read or watched. Uh, but no, they're going to twist it, turn it, and be like, I don't care what you say. You are wrong. I am right because I'm white and you're black. Well, as far as being right or wrong, I mean, sometimes they can be wrong. I mean... I guess it just happens because, you know, edge lords and all. But as far as saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter because you're black. I mean, are you, are you sure this happens? I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it does, obviously, if you're bringing it up. And I don't want to discredit anything that you've said other than the Russian anime thing. I just can't get over. But I mean, do people do this all the time or is it just a few people that you've ran into and then you just made this video? Yes, that's actually been said to me multiple times on social media. Yes, I did go off like a black person. And no, I did not get banned. That person got banned. Oh, that was said. Well, then color me surprised. I take back what I said. Sorry, I was caught up with you being a little right about something that I didn't notice how incredibly weird that was. Like that, that little clap thing, like that, that, that right there, you need to stop that.
don't do that. That's that's weird. And also, why would you openly brag about getting someone banned if they don't agree with you about something or they said, oh, well, it doesn't matter because you're black? I mean, sure, black bond and underachiever have me blocked, but I, I mean, I, I don't understand why, but they just do. I, I, I don't understand. Why do they hate me? Why do you hate me, guys? Anyway, so the anime community, cancerous. The black community, uh, black anime community, Love those guys. Wanna know why? Because they all know the differences. They all have been there. They all have done that. They all grew up in a suburban area or a black area and been made fun of. Well, that's kind of awfully rude. What about the black people that grew up in farm areas or the ones that grew up in inner cities? I know you said black areas, but what are black areas? Can black areas be, you know, anywhere or just where you said they are? Because they watch anime. So, yes. Would I say I am part of the black anime community? Of course I am. But the title of your video is literally black anime community rant. Would I say that I've been bullied by both communities? Yes. Would I say that I've been bullied by a suburban area, a black area, in between, or out of the other universe? Yes. I've been bullied by so many people just because I am a black kid who loves anime. You see, I want to believe that it's just because you're black and you watch anime, but that little clap thing that you did earlier, that, that small, tiny, like, golf clap, that leads me to believe that you were being pretty cringe, and I'm not justifying that as a means for them to bully you, but, I mean, kids nowadays are ruthless. It's been happening for years, and I fucking hate it. But you know what? I'll brush it off, continue to watch my anime, continue to learn, continue to try to learn a second, possibly third language, depending if the subtitles are Spanish. See? Jeez, man, again with the cringe. Don't add that small stuff in there. It hurts. Espanol. Putas. <laughs> I, I literally have nothing for this. Absolutely nothing. So, basically, to sum this whole thing up, yes, it was bad growing up, you know, being bullied and everything, because I was a black kid watching anime, and nobody really, like, got the gist of that. They couldn't comprehend it, they couldn't understand it, my sisters, they just left me alone, they was like, you know what, he's him, I don't care, my mom, she was like, yeah, as long as he's him, my dad was like, I don't care, it's kind of weird, but you know what, it's whatever. It's getting late, it's like 2.30 in the morning as I'm recording this. So, obviously, we've established that your family doesn't care what you do. It's the people on the internet and outside of your house telling you what to do. They're telling you how to feel about watching anime. Why would you let people like that influence how you do things? Obviously, you need to be your own person and stand up for yourself and tell them if they don't like it, they go fuck off. I interact with a lot of different people on my Discord and even on my Twitter account and... Honestly, they're really cool people and I can talk to them pretty much about anything and sometimes if you're lucky They'll let you talk about all of the naughty bits in the uh, Not safe for work parts of the discord, but overall, I mean they're really nice people Regardless if they're white black or Mexican or even if they're Asian I pretty much can get along with anyone because I can talk to anyone about anything except Except, like, really, like, super bad stuff. Like, that's, uh, I, I can't, that's, this is something I, I can't do. But, all in all, I think that you should find a community there that, that you belong in. Find one where you feel like you're comfortable. Go and interact with other people that have the same interest or, like, the same series as you. It's not hard, especially if you like My Hero Academia. I mean, like, everybody, like, fucking loves that show, so... It shouldn't be hard for you to find a group of people that are way into that. So, I grew up to be an okay, decent human being and don't really judge the people who watch this anime because you can actually depend on people who watch this anime. Because even anime sometimes can teach you Japanese, as I said, Spanish, there's even Russian uh, anime. You just had to ruin the good moment. See, it was a coming together part and everybody was happy. And we we're like, yes, yes, we finally got to the end. And then you ruin it with that Russian anime shit again. It's not Russian. There's even Russian songs in anime. You are correct. Ten points to Gryffindor. So, like, it's not just like, oh, one just learning a whole nother language. 
you actually learn multiple things, multiple cultures. Um, you basically get a view of how the whole world works through anime, depending on what anime that you actually watch. You can learn about the uh, past of uh, histories, of like how the Japanese work, the Chinese work, Russians. Oh my god, I got a splitting headache from this Russian shit again. Why do you keep saying something about Russians when it has almost absolutely nothing to do with Russians? It, it hurts. The reason why I keep saying Russian is because Russian animes are actually a big thing now. But you just really have to like be on the lookout for those. Anyway. Is this the Russian anime you're talking about? Because um, they don't exist. So... I just really wanted to take this time to, you know, let out my rant, and I'm just gonna call it a day. Well, thank goodness that's over, because honestly, the, the whole Russian anime thing, you're killing me. It, it's, it, like, it's just really bad. Now, I'm not trying to say that you're lying that these things happened to you, because obviously they have for you to make a video about them, but if bullying is something that's happening or did happen, then Maybe you should try not to associate with those people, or if there are other kids bullying you, then maybe it's best to talk to an adult, or, you know, let somebody know. I'm not really upset. I would really like to be able to talk to you at least one day, and then, you know, find out a little bit more about you, and not the gay way that you think that people probably want to get to know you. But, honestly, I think talking about anime is something that everybody is interested in at some point, especially since it's more mainstream now. But, with that being said, I'll leave you to it and watch your Russian anime.